picture. You look so happy today. Well, last night, my husband and I just celebrated the 10th anniversary of our marriage. Ah, so you were recalling all the happy moments 10 years ago. Of course. It was yesterday once more. Hmm. Teacher, how would you describe your marriage? Hmm. I'd describe it as solid. Why solid? Why not um, liquid? Or gas? Ah, that's because a solid has the strongest bond among all the three states of matter. Since the day we met, I just knew we had chemistry between us. Just like solid particles, always close together, not like liquid or gas. Uh, what do you mean? What's the difference between solids, liquids, and gases? Great question. Let us learn some chemistry to understand the differences between the three states of matter. Solids, liquids, and gases. Sure. Now, solid particles are close together and arranged in a regular lattice structure. For example, take a look at the crystalline solid structure of sodium chloride, your table salt. Wow! I see what you mean about your relationship now. They are packed close together. That's right. The distance between a substance particles are the least when they are in a solid state. You mean their distance cannot be any closer than this? That's right. These particles are so close together that you cannot compress a solid. Hmm. And I also noticed that they are packed in a very regular pattern. That's correct. And that's because they're so close together. The forces of attraction among the particles are so strong. These particles cannot break apart from the group and go away. Hmm. So, in other words, solids cannot flow? Exactly. Hence, solids have a fixed shape because the attractive forces among them are very strong. Hmm, does that mean that solid particles cannot move at all? They can, but they only vibrate a little about their fixed positions. Ah, they cannot vibrate beyond certain distances. Correct, and that's because they have little kinetic energy. Kinetic energy? Is the energy an object possesses due to its motion? Indeed. I see. So, solid particles vibrate slowly about their fixed positions and have little kinetic energy. Correct. So that's why they are so stable. Indeed. Question time. Uh, what?